Hey, what's up? It's Keith and Lance. Uh, today we're going to be doing our first all grain. Uh, we went and picked up our supplies uh, earlier today. Uh, we have our grains and our yeasts and our yeast nutrients, um, hops, Irish moss, all that good stuff. Um, we're using two-row grains, wheat, crystal forty, honey, honey malt. We have a Czech Saz hop. Well, I think that's how you pronounce it. S A A Z. And we're using Nottingham uh, ale yeast. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to give you a kind of a step-by-step -step video of our first all grain and kind of how you should do all grain. So what we're doing is we're waiting for our water to come up to temp, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, start mashing in. All right, we got our uh, water up to 165 degrees. Our target temperature is 158. You let it set here for about five, 10 minutes to get the whole cooler nice and warm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stir these grains in here and uh, take our temperature afterwards and uh, see where we're at. And that's it. Lots of grains. Lots of grains. Mm. Alright, you can kind of see here, uh, we got it to about 153 degrees. What we're doing now is we're trying to get some more water uh, going to bring it up to 158. Uh, the temperature dropped a lot more than we thought it was going to when we initially did uh, add the grain. So we're trying to get it up to 158 so we can mash it at that 158 for an hour. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've already done our mash for about an hour and a half or so. It took us a little longer to get the temp where we wanted it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, run it off a few times so we get it clear and then we're gonna go ahead and attach a hose and then run it to um, the kettle and do our uh, fly sparge as well. Alright so we finished with our sparge we've got it in the pot you can hear we have it uh, the flame underneath it we're waiting for it to come to a boil once it comes to a, a boil and that hits the hot break where the the foam is reabsorbed we're gonna go ahead and start adding our hops in according to the recipe. Alright right here you can see we got the boil going uh uh, Keith's over there keeping an eye on the controller. Uh, what you want to do is wait for that uh, foam or the protein to roll under. Once it rolls under, we're going to throw in our half ounce of uh, SAS and um, let that set for 60. And uh, we'll see you back in just a minute. Uh, hey, what's up? We're back. Um, we had a little bit of a weather issue, so we couldn't film the rest of what we were doing. I didn't want to get the camera wet, so uh, what we did was once we had the protein break, um, once the boy, you know, once it got absorbed back in there, we added our hops at, you know, started at 60 minutes, added the first set of hops, um, with about 15 minutes left in the boil, we added the second set of hops, um, with some Irish malt for clarity, and at 10 minutes left in the boil, we added our yeast nutrient. Once the boil was done, we brought it inside and uh, put it into a bathtub with some ice and water. Um, next time, we will have a wort chiller, and hopefully, Next time we do it, we might just show you guys the rest of that process so you can kind of see how it's going. We really did want to show it to you, but I said it started raining and I just we just couldn't do it. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to transfer our wart tier to our carboy. Um, and then we have some, our yeast, our not hand yeast is rehydrating, so we're going to add that to it. And then, um, so we should be back in a little bit once we get that, show you guys adding the yeast and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so we got it all transferred over here. It looks to be about five gallons. Maybe it's, I think this line's about five gallons. Maybe it's a little less. Maybe I'm not really sure. This is all we have. Hopefully, it's what we need. But I'm going to go ahead and add the yeast. Again, this is the Nottingham yeast. So there's that. We got the the bone. And then we do have a blow-off tube. We're gonna set this with that blow-off tube into actually this bucket back here. Uh, we took our gravity reading. Our gravity reading came out to be uh, 1.040. So hopefully around 5% um, alcohol, maybe a little less is what we're probably gonna get. So that's about it. Um, so go ahead and. If you haven't already liked this video, subscribe to uh, this channel. Uh, also, like us on face, Facebook, Two Dudes That Brew. Follow us on Twitter, at Two Dudes Brew. And, uh, 
yeah, so hopefully we'll be doing this again. Like I said, hopefully next time we can show you the whole process or what we didn't show you this time. So uh, for two dudes at brew, I'm Keith. I'm Lance. Drink up.